How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today we're gonna talk about this. That's right, we're gonna talk about privacy screen protector. So I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know if you're thinking about getting one or if you're just interested in this content overall. So we're gonna talk about materials, viewing angles, we're gonna talk about if it makes your screen darker, and of course, if I recommend, if I think you should get one of those. So let's get started. Okay, so you can get a privacy screen protector in pretty much two main materials. Either plastic, so it could be P, your TPU or tempered glass, which is my case right here. And this is of course a personal preference like any other screen protection. Some people prefer plastic, others prefer tempered glass, and all of the options have pros and cons. I generally prefer tempered glass just because it's gonna give you a better screen protection and drop protection overall. But as I said, it's up to you so you can choose your favorite one. Now, let me install it. start talking about the most important part about privacy screen protectors which are the viewing angles and that's pretty much the way they work so when you have one of those privacy screen protectors on like I have right here you will be able to see everything very clear when you're looking at it from a straight angle right in front of you and as you move the phone uh, to the side then it becomes dark and completely black depending on the angle so the more you incline the darker it's gonna get okay and that's how it works as easy as that and another very important part about those viewing angles is you have like two or four way privacy and let me explain so most Typical uh, screen protectors like those, the privacy screen protectors, pretty much all of them just have a two-way privacy protection. And two-way stands for left and right. So then angling like this and like that. But some of the top of the line uh, screen protectors will have four-way protection. So going like that and like that. So uh, backwards and forwards, if you will. This one does not have it, as you can see. And this is the most common kind of protection as you can see pretty much all of them will only have two-way but if you can get a four-way privacy protection great you will have a better product and a better result as well and still talking about those angles and how it works please keep in mind that depending on how good your privacy screen protector is you have different angles as well so uh, the better the screen protection is the narrower this angle will be so then you only be able you see if you are spot on right in front of the screen if you just tilt it a little bit it will already get dark so the smaller this angle this viewing angle is the better the screen protector will be so this is very important as well depending on how worried about protection you are so it's very important that it tests it out that it can actually go to a physical store and test all of those things the angle how it blocks how it protects the darker it gets and of course the four-way and two-way thing as i just mentioned now talking about this how dark it gets i have to talk about the next topic which is those privacy screen protectors will always make your screen darker this is a thing okay you can't get away from this so no matter how bright your screen is as you can see it's topped at a hundred percent it'll still be considerably darker than without the privacy protection just because it's how it works it's like this fume that you put here on top and then it's gonna have layers and it's gonna actually protect it's gonna give this privacy feeling by making the screen darker of course with angle but even without an angle even looking straight ahead it'll still make it darker and it's definitely noticeable and especially if you're in like broad daylight if you are uh, in with direct sunlight coming and touching your screen this will be even worse sometimes to the point where you won't be able to use your phone if it's too bright if it's a very sunny day it will be pretty much impossible to distinguish small letters and small text it gets this annoying so so you gotta keep that in mind because this is not a tiny thing and because of this effect you will see that after installing one of those screen protectors you'll find yourself putting your brush
brightness to 100% all the time. Maybe not 100%, but maybe like 90 or something, just because of how dark it gets. And because of this, you have a ton of problems. So your battery will drain much, much faster. Your screen itself, the display, will degrade faster as well because of high brightness. And of course, your battery health overall will suffer as well. Please keep in mind that depending on the quality of the screen protector, it may get less dark, a little bit less dark, but all of them, regardless of the price of the quality, will get darker, okay? And another very annoying thing about those privacy screen protectors is the fact that in most situations, when you are alone, when you are at work or at home, they get in the way. So let's say your phone is like that, on a table, on your desk, and you're just using your notebook, working, studying, whatever. For example, the way the phone is right now, uh, where I'm standing, and I'm standing right here, as you can imagine, I can't see the display. It's completely 100% dark. So I will have to do this in order to see. So if I get a notification or something, I'm seeing something, I always have to have my phone pointing straight ahead, facing me 100%. Otherwise, the screen will get pretty much unreadable. So, as I said, this is the whole point of the protection of the screen protector itself, but it gets in the way in 99% of your day. Of course, when you have people around you, that's great. It's going to give you some protection. But when you are alone and most part of your day, it'll just be in your way. And trust me, it gets annoying over time. Okay. And of course, even though it will give you some kind of protection when you have people around, you but if you're looking at your phone like this for example if there's somebody on your side they won't be able to read it they won't be able to see the screen that's great but if there's somebody trying to get information from you like visual hacking as they call it and they come from behind they'll be able to see if they come from behind your shoulder and they're trying to take a peek they'll be able to see it because if it's facing you and if they're behind you they'll be able to see it so it kinda doesn't protect you as much as you think. Oh, and I have to talk about one very common question, which is, is this kind of screen protector, the privacy screen protector, bad for your eyes, bad for your vision? And a lot of people think this, but no, there's nothing wrong here with the technology, nothing that will cause any kind of harm to your vision or anything like that. But because of the nature of this kind of privacy screen protector, you will have some problem with transparency and clarity. So we will see that some text, especially small, tiny text, will be a little bit blurred. So we have, of course, the brightness thing, as I mentioned, but also it will be a little bit blurred. It's hard for you to see here in the camera, but you definitely notice that it's like the resolution of the screen uh, decreases a little bit, if you, if you know what I mean. So you will see sometimes that it will be straining your eyes a little bit, like forcing a little bit. So this may cause some kind of uncomfort or some kind of a headache, but not because of any technology thing just because of the definition, because of the decrease in crispness. So that's pretty much everything I have to say and all of the information about privacy screen protectors. And if you ask me if you should get one, I generally say no, I don't recommend those screen protectors because of all those problems it creates. For me, it's more of a headache than a solution. Of course, if you're really worried about this, if you're always around many, many people, maybe at work or in school, and you think they're always trying to take a peek and you know they're always trying to see your stuff it may be interesting for you and you may overcome those problems of like uh, brightness and uh, everything else as I mentioned but for most people I think you're better off without it all right so thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video as usual guys bye bye